So hi, my name is Simon Sherratt. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the IT Police Transactions on Consumer Electronics and we're here at the International Conference on Consumer Electronics 2013 and it's my extreme pleasure to introduce three fantastic guys who have just received the, uh, uh, the Sony Ibuka Award for their development of the AAC Plus or HAVC. So, uh, may I introduce Martin Dietz in the middle, uh, Christopher Schorling and Lars Iliad. And um, guys, I'd like you to discuss just for a few moments uh, what really the technology means for uh, the everyday person. Mr. Dietz. Oh, I have the pleasure. Yeah, what does the technology mean for the everyday person? Well, we increased compression efficiency so you can uh, transmit music in the same quality with uh, much less bandwidth. So it, it basically enabled uh, digital radio to some extent at least. It uh, enabled music for over the mobile network. It uh, made uh, transmission of uh, TV sound much more efficient. So it's present in, I would say, many, many consumers' daily life. Thank you. So, Lars, maybe if you can talk about the development cycle that you guys went through, the experience that you experienced over the last 16 or so years. Well, um, first, what we introduced, actually, as I said in the meeting, was kind of alien technology in a very conservative field, uh, which actually this transform audio coding field is. And uh, I personally met, met a lot of naysayers, you know, and uh, oh, that won't work, you know, no, 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 will, nobody will accept this and so on. And I said, I don't give up. We're going to get there. It took a little while, though, with a lot of effort from my colleagues, but finally we got there. And now we, that has also shown off with this very excellent award we got today. So it's a success story, I think. So it's really a story of perseverance and maybe innovation as well. Yes, certainly. Yeah. Yes. Innovation was a keen a part of uh, the uh, CES this year, and uh, we were very, very lucky at the conference to have the uh, innovation uh, expert here, Gary Shapiro, do one of our keynotes. So, uh, Christopher, I'd like you to maybe talk about the technology. Everyone's heard of MP3. What about HEAVC. So <coughs> HEAC is is basically AAC as a traditional transform coder with this turbo that we developed on top, and it was uh, as Lars points out a bit of a paradigm shift in that technology field because we took what had been somewhat researched maybe in in strict parametric coding and we combined these this kind of thinking with, with more traditional waveform coding and, and to do that combination where a parametric model can rely on a waveform coding model as well that really was a shift in paradigm at the time and really enabled this kind of leap forward in, in efficiency so alien technology yes <laughs> thank you so you guys have just received what is essentially our medal the highest medal that we can have as a pinnacle of maybe someone's career we have lots and lots of young engineers with us. Maybe, uh, do you have any comments on what young engineers should really know about before they start entering their, their career? I think it's very important that they learn how to be creative. And uh, curiosity is a big part of it. Um, where I come from, in Sweden, this is not taught by the education system. But I think, for instance, like in the United States, where you see there is a lot of inventions coming from, uh, people are, you know, want to get somewhere, and, and, and they, they, have, they have incentive of doing so, because they, they can climb on their, the, the ladder of, the, of their career. But I think uh, curiosity and incentive is a big part of it, and never give up in particular not to the naysayers. 
Well, may I say something? Yeah. So I, I think what is also important is that you work on something that you really like. So in yes. something you really appreciate, I think uh, almost everybody in our company was uh, somehow a musician. Not some, even you were a professional musician for some time. Yes. Uh, most of us were uh, hobbyists, but we were really passionate about music and about technology. So to combine these two passions, this is what really made the difference. Very true, yes. And, and I'd round that off by saying that one shouldn't be uh, disheartened or disconcerned by people who will say when you present your idea, I already thought about that and it doesn't work. Because, y you know, there are lots of people who always thought about everything. But if it's a good idea and somebody says, I already thought about it, then why isn't it a successful product? Maybe they're missing something. And so, so um, yeah. yeah, it's important to not give in to that. Thank you. So maybe we can take from this that you... Uh, as a young engineer, you should believe in yourself. Yes. Get the fundamental technology right, but believe in yourself and be creative and innovative. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No pleasure.